Hey there, welcome back to 9-3. We are graphing logarithmic functions and stating the key features. This video, this is the second of the two, um, we're going to talk specifically about natural logarithms in this video. Okay, so here is the first example dealing with uh, graphing a natural logarithm. And our function is g of x equals 0.5 natural log of x plus 2. And um, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I'm going to, I'll use red just to plot the parent function points for a natural log. So remember, the parent function of a natural log, again, all logs have a zero at one. And then their next point is based upon, okay, the base. So in this case, it's log base E. So I have to go over E, which is 2.7, and then I'll go up one. And then the next point is E squared, okay, will give us two. So E squared is about 7.4, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and that would give us that point. So those are our, our parent function points. And now what we want to do is we want to identify our, our transformations. So A is 0.5. Okay, that's going to be a vertical compression. So everything, right, is going to get compressed closer to the, the x-axis. Um, our h value is negative two, right? So that means we're going to the left two, okay? Uh, and that's it. All right, so our parent function um, is given here, okay? Now I have an h value that's negative two. So what that's what's gonna happen is our vertical asymptote at x equals zero is actually gonna be x equals negative two. So over two, one, two, three, I don't know why I'm counting the dashes. I'm just having fun counting. I've been teaching Ella to count. She's uh she's really good. One, two, four. She doesn't like three. I don't know why. Um, and then we're gonna have to go ahead and transform these points. Okay. So I, I shifted everything over. Well, I shifted our, our asymptote over two. And uh, what's gonna happen is uh, well we'll start with this point here. So I'm gonna compress everything by a factor of one half. So but notice it's on the x-axis, so is it going to compress at all? No, like it's not affected by compressions or stretches. So I'm just going to move it over two. So one, two. Okay, so there is uh, my point. Next, I'm going to go to my next point. Okay, the next point is going to compress by a factor of a half, right? And then it's going to move over two. So one, two. Okay. Next point, it's going to compress by a factor of one half. So this distance is two, so it's going to go down to one. And then I'm going to shift over one, two. All right, and there you have it. That is g of x. And I want to make sure I draw a smooth curve. There we go. Okay. All right, so there's our function g of x. And now we're going to fill in the key features. Domain of the function. Well, the domain is dependent upon the asymptote. So x must be greater than negative 2. Range, all real values. I almost wrote y. Or I almost wrote x. Don't do that. Range, it's y values. <clears throat> our zero. In the last video, uh, our zeros, um, I had give it, I had to give that to you. In this one, you can tell your, your zero here is at negative one. Negative one. Our y-intercept, our y-intercept in this case is... I'm going to go ahead and give this to you. Three, four, seven. There's your y-intercept. And again, that, that's given. I kind of really don't like those, those two questions because you need graphing technology to help you there. Uh, end behavior. Our end behavior, so we'll take the left side first. So as x is approaching this x value, which is negative 2, and again, we're approaching from the right, so I'll use my plus superscript sign. Uh, g of x is going to negative infinity, okay, and as 
x approaches positive infinity, as our x values get bigger and bigger and bigger, our function's gonna increase to positive infinity. Okay, and this function is increasing. All right, so that's graphing a natural logarithm uh, function with transformations. There you go. Here is a practice example for you. So please pause the video, try this one. And here is the solutions. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so uh, I hope you have enjoyed uh, watching this. I know you love graphing and um, the natural logarithm is the best, isn't it? All right. Catch you next time. Peace.